Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a parallax effect, which means converting a 2D image into 3D using the free software called HeatFilm 4 Express. I already created a video on how to change the perspective of our image using depth map in GIMP. Using the same depth map technique, we can create this parallax effect. So let's get started. So first we need to create the depth map for our particular image and this is the depth map for this image uh, this is not perfect depth map but the concept of the depth map is the portion which are closest to the camera is in light gray color and portion which are farther away to the camera is dark in color for example the background of the image is in dark color and the tip of the nose is in light gray color so let's get into the video first open gimp and drag and drop your subject image inside the gimp and create a new layer and fill it with black color so this black layer will be our background layer and hide this layer. Now again create a new layer and select the path tool and draw the path around our subject. Our subject is closer to the camera so I am going to paint it with the gray color. I am going to paint it with darker grey color and portion of the face is closer to the camera than the body. So I am going to draw the path around the face using the path tool. And select from path using the shortcut key shift plus V and fill it with lighter grey color than the body. And again, I'm going to select the eye region Shift to plus V to select from path And I'm going to fill it with lighter gray than the face And I'm going to select the mouth region And I'm going to also paint it with the same grey color. And again I'm going to select the nose region. And paint it with the same grey color. And I'm going to select the nose tip which is closer to the camera. and paint it with a lighter grey color than the others so this is the basic for creating the depth map this is not the perfect depth map but you can create the perfect depth map using this technique then merge down the top layer with the bottom black layer and our depth map is created now go to filters blur gaussian blur and give the blur of approximately 10 save this depth map and open your heat flame express drag and drop this both the subject image and the depth map image into the media tab and drag the subject image inside the timeline and right click and make composite short then click on ok and now drag the depth map into this timeline now go to the fx tab and search for displacement and drag this displacement layer only effect into this subject image now go to the controls tab open this displacement and now change the source layer to depth map and horizontal displacement to luminance and also vertical displacement to luminance now change the horizontal value we can see that 3d parallax effect 
don't go too much on the displacement this will distort the image change the value until there is no distortion so make sure we are on the 0th second and now change the maximum horizontal displacement and vertical displacement value to 0 I'm going to zoom the timeline so this composite shot has 6 seconds we are on the 0th second and I'm going to add keyframe for both maximum horizontal displacement and maximum vertical displacement we just created the keyframe we can see it over here and move to the first second I'm going to change the horizontal slider to the right side until there is no distortion and on the timeline I'm going to move to the second second and change the horizontal displacement value to 0 and then move the timeline to the third second and move the slider over the left side until there is no distortion now if we play we can see there is some distortion so I'm gonna reduce the value Now if we play the video we can see there is some 3D effect and on the fourth second I'm going to change the value to 0 for both horizontal and vertical displacement value. You can also change the vertical displacement value but in this video I'm not doing that. Now go to the editors tab. and delete this image and drag and drop this composite shot into the timeline we only created the 4 second video so I'm going to trim this composite shot Now I'm going to play the video and found some distortion in this uh, displacement so I'm going to rectify that. Go to the composite shot. Drop down the displacement. And move this white line over the keyframe and adjust the displacement value. And again come back to the editor tab. Then go to export. To export the video. The top one is the composite shot. So I am not going to export that. Below is the editors. So I am going to export contents. And change the name if you want to. and click on save then click on start exporting now I'm going to play the video and we can see some 3d parallax effect so that's it guys this is the simple technique to create parallax effect using Kidflame for express thanks for watching if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get quick notification when I upload a video thanks for watching bye